you just let it run. Yep, perfect. Don't go off too much off to the side, bro. More towards the front. I know it's hard. Yeah, baby. Keep, don't let it slack at the top. Yeah, bro. Kubera. Don't reel the swivel. Kubera, bro. Land it under the gill plate. Do not let land under the gill plate. Be careful. I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Now I serve as a guest guide at Los Buzos Resort, where I help kayak anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. You're watching Field Trips with Robert that Field. Is a fish, bro! Well, hey guys, welcome back. To Kombutal, Panama, to Field Trips, Panama. We just mother shipped 12 clients in 12 kayaks using four pongas, three kayaks in each boat. Just dropped all the clients in, kind of gave them the lay of the land, gave them a little rundown. Brought them over here to a place we call Corto. There's a river that comes in right here, it's a river mouth. But also a point down this way with super clean water, beautiful rock formations, great jigging over there. We call that Punta Blanca. We're over here because this time of year in the dry season, we often have wind blowing from onshore. And over here we can fish a little bit closer to the mountains, a little bit closer to shore, it gets deeper faster. So Pio and I, you guys know Pio? You've met him before. He's uh, one of our core panga captains here. Now we're gonna try to catch bait. We got four boats in the water. We're working on catching bait for the clients. So we're gonna get down to business, get them some baits. And last week we caught, I think a total of like 14 roosters right here in this spot. The big Kubera of the trip was landed right here. Diamond Trevally, we hooked a sailfish over at Punta Blanca last week. We're gonna see what we get into today. But now we gotta get to work, find these guys some bait. A lot of moon fish around here and they make great, great bait. Ah, yeah. <laughs> nice. pio has got one. Careful leaning, careful, just don't. Yeah, yeah. Do not troll a Debonita, that's a waste of time. With the Debonita, you gotta drop it down and just drip. So if you're gonna move, I'd put the diver out and save the Benita for later. You could drop it on some of these rocks. What's up, brother? Got it. You just hang on the boat. All right, thanks. Dame fish. Over there, just go slow. Yep, nice and easy, and I would troll around these rocks. Like, uh, kind of head out to the point, if nothing, then come back. So head you could be this far from the rocks, or maybe halfway as close. Like, you know, just kind of vary it up. Like, we don't know exactly where they are, but the, the roosters are cruising, so they could be anywhere. Okay. And is that the point you're talking about? Yep. That's Punta Blanca. And that's good around there, too. You could even go all the way around that point if you want, and then come back. Just go wide around the point until the tide goes down, because it might break, I don't know. But anywhere in here you catch roosters, but that cleaner water is where I would be running it if it were me. Guys, we got Benita out here east of Punta Blanca, pretty much. We're seeing Benita, I got a feeling we're about to double up. Uh, so if kayakers want to head over here, they're real hard to transport long distances. So if you guys could uh, head towards this panga that's out here, like not quite to Punta Blanca, but in the mouth, we're about to hook up right now. Guinness. Nice. Nice, peel has got one. Uh, hey, we got a Benita on. Who wants one? <laughs> okay. Uh. You're just gonna hand me the rod. Yep, you're gonna take that. Got it. Got it. Oh, oh, it's leashed. Oh. There you go. Nope. Switch the leash. You're good. Good luck, brother. We got Bill here from Jersey. Hooked up first five minutes on the light rod. Feel decent? What is it? Yeah, you can put that out. Yeah. Welcome to Los Buzos, baby. That's what we call bait. Definitely, dude. Sailfish will eat that all day. All right, so Bill just caught a pretty nice jack of all. Most places you go fishing from a kayak, and that's the target catch. Here we call that live bait. He's gonna put that guy on his big rig. Drop it right back down. And last week a sailfish hit something just like that. that a, this is officially the biggest live bait I've ever used. Biggest live bait you ever use, and you're doing it from kayak. When in Rome. When in Rome, that's it. The land of giants, man. Big baits, big fish. All right, we just found one moonfish that's flopping around down in there. This is what we use out here. This is called an XPS jig. If you watch Field Trips Panama, you've seen this, you know this. 
This thing catches literally everything out here from even giant roosters and we've got 50 pound Almaco jacks on it, this little thing. Everything eats it, but it's our go-to for catching bait. It's just a little piece of metal with a hook hanging off it, basically a little baby tiny vertical jig. Si, y mira, porque yo lo dijo que no hay. And these moonfish like it worked pretty slow. Everything else likes it fast, but lento para moonfish. It's our little Panamanian live well, keeping them alive. It's a little water in the bottom of the boat, and that's where we're shooting our transducer through too, through the hole. But you'll live for a while like that. They're pretty hardy. I will be there. And then we'll go start dropping some off to some some clients. Fish on the diver. Whew, nice run. We just came over the point. These rocks continue on under the water and rise we came over with this diver. We were looking for more bait, but we had to move spots, so we decided why not? Might as well troll. Sure enough, fish on. Estoy seguro. Posible, Jack. Pero posible, gallo. Pequeno, you know, pequeño. Not sure what it is. Fight feel, kind of feels like a jack, or maybe bluefin trevally. Possibly a smaller rooster fish. Could have guessed one, Jack. Let's see? Yeah. We're thinking it's a jack. Anytime we're moving spots, moving locations. We like to troll the diver. You might as well have hooks in the water, you never know. Still pulling out drag. Yeah, pretty nice one. Snagged it. It's like fighting so hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> nice. Fun fish. Oh, they are strong. Already caught a few jacks this morning on the popper. It might be another jack, but you just never know. The roosters will school around with these jacks. That's what we got on a little little diver. <laughs> nice. And off you go. All right, live baits aren't getting hit, so we're trying a little vertical jigging. See if we can drum anything up from the deep soon. This. Usually the jig bite is either on or it's off. So if we get one fish on it, we'll all start jigging. This is a lot of market. Fish on, first drop of the XPS jig over here. Hey Dennis, Dennis, copy. Got some client hooked up right over here. You got the end range? Mira, gallo, gallito. I got a rooster fish on. There's roosters around. See? Rooster. Doubled up on rooster. Otra? Guys, Pio and I are doubled up on rooster fish right now in the XPS jig. Drop your XPSs down. A big pack just came through. We got a client hooked up right next to us. Roosters running through right now. XPS jig. Drop it down. Reel it up fast. Woo! Doubled up on rooster fish right now on the bait rigs. Trying to catch bait for the clients. A couple small roosters. We call them gallitos. Oh, uh, Pio's came off. We gotta go easy. These are light hooks. Después, ayúdame con la cámara. Por favor. Oh, ripping drag. Mucho rooster, eh? Sí. I got a rooster, got a rooster. Another rooster on. Ay! Me aquí, right here, ahí. Just came off right by the boat. Ah, uh, mierda. Dame a con chick. My grande. 
Oh, I can't believe both those just came off. They're running around here, guys. Keep at it. Yeah, please pick it up. Come here. Nice. Dennis got a yellowfin tuna while trying to catch bait on a little XPS jig right by the rocks. They are in close today. All right. On the popper, too. It's awesome, ain't it? Hell yeah. There's a big school of them going around. Yeah, look at that. Good one. African Pompano for Bill here from Jersey. Nice work, man. Yeah, they're good eating. We'll come get them right now. Oh. Uh, nice release, nice release. There's more down there, man. There's tuna rolling through. Guy Jimmy strikes again. He got three mahi. Now he's got his first rooster fish of the day. That on the jig? Yeah, but dude, that, too much fun on artificial. I was telling these guys that a lot of times the roosters will fall around the jacks. Look at that guy. It looks like a good fish and that's a super light rod. You just take your time, man. Don't tighten your drag. Just had a little fish drop off from the other ponga. Clients are getting on some fish. Here we got an African pompano. And this beautiful fish looks like a juvenile Pacific dog snapper or a cubera. Hard to tell at this age. Really pretty fish though. Fill in the cooler. I'm having trouble telling who's over there and who's over here. Is that someone out here mess with me? Right out here with the voice, just right here next to you. <laughs> That's a beautiful one, man. And there she goes, man. Beautiful release. Bro, that's a fast size rooster. Nice, Beauty. bro. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Another rooster fish for Phil here yeah. from Jersey. Nice work, man. Part of the Jersey crew out here. They've been killing it today. So, so you hooked up, you hooked a monster before that one? Yeah, I couldn't stop. Oh, man. You'll not. Fish on the jig. Mimo, oh Mio, rooster. <laughs> Looky there, rooster fish on the catch jig. Oh, too much fun. Beautiful rooster fish on the jig. Let's see if we can't find some more before we gotta take off. Probably just got one too. Let this guy go. I just got a tattoo of a rooster fish. I love these fish. There's one to match. Let's gotta go. How about? There she goes. Whew. All right, so for the clients here at Los Buzos, we do pretty much everything we can for them to set them up. But what's so cool about this place is you're also really kind of doing, you know, all the hard work on your own. You know, these guys are pedaling around, they're trolling, they're catching bait, they're casting, they're jigging like this with a heavy jig, uh, which gets exhausting after enough repetitions. Uh, you know, it's, it's a workout, right? And, uh, it's, you know, so when you catch a fish, some giant fish, it's so gratifying because you really made it all happen from a lot of times they're catching their own bait and they're hooking it on and uh, doing whatever, right? Tricking these fish to hit a jig, moving fast, but uh, it's just a really gratifying way to catch a fish out of a kayak. It just feels like, wow, I just really did something. I wasn't sitting in a chair strapped in, just reeling. I, I did, made it all happen. And a good example is right now, bait's just tough to find, right? I mean, we have this place pretty dialed, but sometimes the bite's just dead. And so when it's dead, you gotta, kinda gotta get creative. So basically we said like, hey guys, that spot down there's not great. We're gonna go check out this next spot over. If anyone wants to come, you can. And we got four kayakers who followed us over here. Uh, they pedaled about an extra mile and a half just now after, I mean, you know, it's, it's one o'clock. They're tired, I know they're tired. We think it's gonna pay off. We just, we just got to this spot and we told them we're gonna kinda drop the jig, see, see what's down there before they get too far. But, uh, Pio's saying he's seeing a ton of fish on the graph, so we're gonna kind of scout this spot out before they make it here, and if it's dead here too, then maybe we'll start heading back. But worst case scenario, we'll pick up all three kayakers that are following us, throw them in the boat, and we can take them back to the other spot. No big deal. 
throwing this catch jig, a little 80 grams. I love this thing, it's got this free swing and hook. Kind of looks like a squid when it's swimming, pretty cool. The small one was getting it done on small roosters the other day. Mucho fish, huh? Mucho fish, Mucho Marcus. Yeah, the spot's like right over here, guys. You should come over here and mark the spot on your graph, and then when you're drift off it, you'll know exactly where it is. We're about to drive back to it if you want to come this way and mark the spot. Dame un once. Espérate. All right, another client's hooked up here. We're about to head home. Someone just got hit on the dead Bonita. Told him to drive it down the bottom. Rod's it to the front. You're doing perfect, bro. Who is that, Andy? Could be a grouper, could be a snapper, could be a lot of things. Could be a big rooster. Nice, bro. And Benito Muerto. He's been soaking it for hours. We gave it to him live like seven hours ago. Keep the rod tip forward. That's a good fish. When it runs, let it run. And when it lets off, man, crank and reel and try to get him up off those rocks a little. Yeah, perfect. Don't go off too much off to the side, bro. More towards the front. I know it's hard. Do not, just do not let it slack. So be reeling. It can't hurt to reel too much. So. Yeah, baby. Keep, don't let it slack at the top. Yeah, bro. He said, oh my Lord, it's huge. That grouper? grouper? Brown? Tell me. Kubera? Don't reel the swivel. Kubera, bro. Land it under the gill plate. Do not let land under the gill plate. Be careful. Grab under his gill plate, watch. Hey, don't let it dangle, you're gonna lose it. Calmly grab under his gill plate. Watch the teeth, bro. Once you get a hold of it, hold it tight. He's gonna thrash, you'll be fine. Or do you want me to come land it right now? You want me to come land it? Yep, that's perfect. No, grab him hard right there, a little bit back. Closer to his mouth a little bit, where it kinda in the corner. Yep, yep, and now just swing him up high over your, your knees. Yeah, yeah, dude! Oh! All right, yeah, yeah, pull it back up. Oh man, yeah, that was hoof. Right up front. He's gonna grab your kayak, so you, you'll be okay. You got, he's got you. Just pull him up now. You. Yeah, dude! Monster Kubera, bro! <laughs> what? Look at that! In literally overtime, we were coming to pick you up, take you back. That is a monster. Andy here from Boston. He got a giant mahi already. And now he's got an enormous Kubera snapper on his lap. This is the first time kayak fishing in the ocean. I'd say you're off to a pretty good start, bro. I told you, man, these fish are wild. You did that perfect, dude. First time kayak fishing? <laughs> Kidding me? <laughs> Just yanked out that beast. Look at these dentures. Look at that. Ooh, look at that chump. <laughs> that is a freaking monster, bro. <laughs> look at that. Looks like How a much grandpa. you think this thing was? Ooh, 50 cent probably. 50 cent. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Welcome to Los Buzos! Woo! Wow. All right, bro. Whenever you're ready, we can. Grab it on that side. He put his stick on oh, That works. Oh, he's going. He's going. going. Yeah. And there she goes. How was that? How was that? I saw that thing pulling. Holy. Woo! Man. Holy cow, that was a lot of In overtime, like, In overtime. I was here to get you. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a fish of a lifetime a day, bro, is what, what that was. Incredible, man. How was that, man? Too sick. That was a fish of a lifetime. That's your second fish of a lifetime in a row from a kayak, your first time offshore kayak fishing. <laughs> that was wild. Now I got what a fish! My yeah, hey, that's it's a badge of honor. Wow. I'll get you a free shot of the Roost Fish Bar and Grill, even though it wasn't a rooster. That <laughs> counts. That was awesome. We call that victory slide. Yeah. Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> Got a tuna for sashimi tonight. Derek Cortez, the better fish cleaner of the group, I'd say. It's not a good thing, it just means he has to do the work. I'm trying to teach the dude that has a camera right now how to fish, but. <laughs> I'll get there, bro, I'll get there one day. One day I'll be like you. 
<laughs> Today was a great day. I don't know if you know where Andy got that bonita from, but look at that. Yellowfin, tuna, fresh chili. Tonight. Oof. Tuna tonight. Oof. Just like that. Look at that. Gerber controller. That is a clean piece of tuna right there. A cooler full of tuna. African pompano, diamond trevally. All kinds of fish today. Roosters, giant cabrera. Epic day. Tuna Good. delivery. How's it? Yeah. Horrible. Nom. You should have it. Nom. Ooh, we got yellowfin sashimi. Mm. A little wasabi, a lot of tuna, a little soy. It's here. That that stuff hit you? I am trying. I need to go shower. I'm sick of smelling myself. <laughs> Looks delicious. What is this? Sophie, what we got? What we got tonight? Fried green plantains with a spicy cilantro aioli, mahi mahi. There's yuca. Cinnamon caramel. Just like mama used to make. Just like it. I don't know what you are, but I'm so you. I'm putting you on everything. It's a spicy aioli, she said. My, my. Look at that. Dinner of champions. Yeah. <laughs> Looks delicious. I don't know what you are, but I'm eating you. Gonna be good, man. My first ever plantain. She said it's gonna be good, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> bananas are just—it tastes nothing like bananas, man. You might be surprised. Like Let me tell you. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> Put in some hot sauce. I can do that. Yeah. It's more like potato than yeah, it is like than vegetable. Potato. Yeah, yeah. You can mash them like a potato too. Uh, not durable. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Getting a little taste of Panama. Don't do anything stupid. Because Jimmy fell off the ponga one time trying to get in from the kayak, and I happened to be recording. It's been in a few videos. <laughs> it's a repeat. If you knew me better, you not even something. You were in the kayak trying to get into the ponga. Do something stupid. Please, if you enjoyed this series, if you enjoyed the show, like and subscribe. Love to see you back here every week. Lots more field trips, Panama. Coming right up. You can come out here and do this yourself. Go to losbuzos.com or email info at losbuzos.com. They'll send you all the information you need to plan a trip. But that's going to do it for this time. That's all I got for you today. Hasta luego, amigos. Ciao.